When you're ready to publish your course, select the publish icon. You've got options along here. So review 360, this won't publish it. Well, it will, it'll publish it on a web page, but it's there for people to review it. So you could then send that link to other people. They could sign in uh, using any email address and they can leave comments. And then you can gather all that feedback. You can export it as an Excel file if you want. And then you can have a look at the feedback and make changes. But if you're going to be exporting this to go on a learning management system, such as Workday or Moodle or Blackboard, then this is what you do. Make sure the course has a title that you want, the player. This is the player, you can edit it. So I would normally click on the player button before going to publish to make my changes. Quality, this is important. First time you use it, it'll be set as standard with a video quality of five and an image quality of 80%. You want to move these up to the maximum. Leave the audio where it is. The moment you move them, it changes to custom. So always put them to the maximum. I think the reason they're defaulted to be lower is because on original versions of Storyline, it was many years ago, and uploading big files to the internet was a problem. It's not really a problem anymore. Press OK. Now reporting. If you're using this on a learning management system, you want to report it. Score on 1.2 is the norm. There are other options here. Everywhere I've worked, it's always been score on 1.2. So that's with all the clients I've ever had. So if you're not sure, leave it at score 1.2. Alternatively, speak to your learning management system administrator and they'll be able to tell you for certain. Though I'd place bets, it's probably this. If not, it would be X API Tinkan. Once you're ready, press publish. Give it a moment to do this. Depending on the size of the course, it takes longer. And there we go, it's been successful. Now I always recommend that you zip the file. You need to create a zip file to be able to put this onto a learning management system. So click zip, make sure you're happy with the name for it. Once you are, press save. What we can do though from here, we can view the project. And here is the project, laid out how I chose it to be.